Welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm gonna go over some free cybersecurity projects that you can do to put on your resume or really learn uh, cybersecurity. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You know we're going dark. So first we have Packet Sniffer. Uh, packet sniffers monitor network traffic for suspicious activity. Building a packet sniffer is an opportunity to practice networking and programming skills. You can create a simple packet sniffer in uh, Python with a socket module. After configuring your socket module to capture packets from the network, you will write Python scripts to extract those captured packets. It's a great cybersecurity project to sink your teeth into. Two, keyloggering or next keylogging. Keyloggers track each keyboard stroke on a device to build a keylogger software. Download and install Python's PinePut library. With this library, you'll be able to monitor keyboard and mouse inputs. You'll also be able to deliver log keystrokes to a specific location like an email server or local system storage. For a slightly more challenging project, try building a keylogger for a virtual uh, keyboard. Next, lost data retrieval. Data recovery skills are vital to cybersecurity incident response as malware can corrupt, destroy, or manipulate data. Ransomware attacks encrypt a victim's data and demand payment for decrypting the files. Outline a ransomware data recovery procedure to practice data retrieval skills. Focus on restoring the affected systems from a backup. Next, build a plan for using data recovery tools to extract corrupted or deleted data from storage devices. SQL injection is next, and SQL injections are attack vectors that use malicious SQL code to manipulate back-end databases. Hackers use SQL injections to access private information and commandeer administrative rights to a database. To practice SQL injection vulnerability remediation, set up a virtual machine by signing up for a free tier Amazon Web Services account, then practice executing SQL injection. Uh, next, we have RFID blocking. Credit cards, debit cards, and passports have scannable radio frequency identification, also known as RFID, tags that enable contactless payment in a skimming attack. Unauthorized actors can RFID tags to illegally access credit card details and other private information. Try creating software that blocks RFID readers or build an application that alerts users to unauthorized RFID scanning. So, uh, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think about those projects? Do you think they're manageable? you think they're not hard enough? I can make it harder. I can make it harder. <laughs> Please let me know in, uh, you know, your opinion in the comment section below. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I appreciate your viewership. See you on the next video.